All right, our first update from the trail. We are hiking up past Alpine Lake right now, getting almost to Sawtooth Lake. We did make contact with the other vehicle in our group. They were able to find a parking spot and they're on the trail behind us. So hopefully we'll meet up before sunset today and get our time lapse started. All right, we are at the, I'm at the ridge above Alpine Lake. I'm almost to Sawtooth Lake right now. And Sean is already at Sawtooth Lake. I don't know if you got the text. Copy that, Sean. Well, we're just uh, meander on as we do and uh, check in in an hour again. Well, looks like they're hitting the switchbacks, the steep part. We're almost to Sawtooth Lake. Sean already arrived at Sawtooth Lake, actually. He's filtering water right now, probably. And uh, then we'll head on up to the ridge and find our spot for setting up cameras. It's really beautiful up here. We are on our way around Sawtooth Lake. It is absolutely beautiful. We're almost to the ridge of McGowan Pass, and then we're going to uh, head up the ridge and make some decisions, figure out what's going on for sunset today and stars tonight. This is just beautiful here. Hey there everybody, we are just before sunrise on the day of the eclipse and I came out here to check on the camera just before sunrise during astronomical twilight and unfortunately the exposure got a little bright but hopefully we can smooth it out and also unfortunately there is some, some uh, smoke haze from uh, uh, possibly a wildfire somewhere in the near vicinity. Uh, you can't probably see it behind me, but the valley behind us is just absolutely filled with smoke. But it's a very, very low haze. It's not billowy, so it might be just uh, some carrying over of smoke from a very, very far away wildfire. Hopefully that's the case, because otherwise there are going to be rangers kicking us out of here in a few hours, that's for sure. Sun's about to rise. The exposure is dialed in on the A7R Mark II. It's an aperture priority auto ISO. 
and it's uh, coming along nicely. Unfortunately, the A7R Mark II does not meter properly on a moonless night sky. You have to go into manual about an hour after sunset. So we learned that lesson. Hopefully tonight's sunset, Milky Way, and sunrise tomorrow will be perfect after this uh, little bit of a learning experience here. The A7S is the camera that can meter the Milky Way, the night sky, perfectly. The A7R Mark II, apparently, unfortunately, not so much. It is the morning of the eclipse and we are on our way down from Sawtooth Lake to Alpine Lake and we're going to photograph the eclipse from around Alpine Lake while the other gang photographs the eclipse from well above Sawtooth Lake. Probably about a thousand feet elevation difference almost and we're gonna go down and up in one day which should be pretty easy plus less difficult than a normal day of hiking all right two minutes until the partial eclipse begins i can see the sun through my uh four eyes six eyes here and uh, i don't see the moon taking a chunk out of the sun just yet but uh we'll hustle down to the lake we're mostly going to take photos of the totality of the eclipse wide angle and telephoto we're not worried about photographing the partial stages of eclipse because the other guys up the mountain with their 500 millimeter and 1000 millimeter lenses are going to be doing that. We are just going to focus on getting beautiful landscape photos and maybe some photos of the totality, possibly next to a mountain ridge or something like that. We'll see how that turns out. Well, we made a couple bad decisions, a couple good decisions. We are still trying to figure out our angle here. We're stuck in a uh, bush zone on this little rock slope. We can't get a good angle on the water. So we're backtracking now. The uh, partial eclipse is 25% started. So time is now of the essence. Oh wow, it's a little crescent sun. That's pretty cool. We better get out there and shoot. All right, let's do this. Ah, cold water. <laughs> 